Yes, 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 yes. Once again, it is time for another thrilling episode of Hidden Agenda. Before we begin, I just wanted to thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. The app is finally working again on my phone. So, ready or not, here we go. Ah, yes. Okay. Well, we are presented once more at our little map area. A work board, let's call it. We already investigated Father Rominski, I believe, in the last video. So, let's see. We can either investigate the Trapper's first victim or investigate the orderly from Las Palmas. Let's investigate the first victim. Perhaps that will shed some insight on his M.O. and see if possibly we can learn anything. Back to the beginning. The Undertaker. The one target Finn had no clear motive to kill. No apparent connection to Las Palmas. Widow claimed to have no idea why Finn would want to kill her husband. Maybe five years have given her a fresh perspective. I'm gonna go see if she wants to be chatty. Yeah, chatty Kathy. Widow's Residence, 1447. Ooh, only 17 hours until Finn's execution. Better yes? get a move on. Miss Johnson, what do you want? What do you want? Well? I'd like to speak to you about your husband. What are you, a cop? I ain't got nothing to say to you. Uh-oh, who's photographing us? This is creepy. Well, I am a detective. Reporter, I don't know. Clearly, she doesn't want to talk to a cop. That's kind of, that's, that's really a hard question, actually. I mean, it is serious, though. I mean, I, I'd rather have a cop than a reporter show up at my door, but whatever. Yes, ma'am. I'm a detective. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about your husband. Yeah? Where was y'all when I called at two in the morning to get them to stop hitting me? Where was the cops then? Now you got a lot of questions for me. Maybe now I ain't got time for you. All right. You gonna tell me exactly what it is you want to know? <laughs> well, sympathetic. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that your husband treated you like that. Sounds like he had it coming one way or another. Yeah, one way or another. That all you wanted? I'd like to know if um, your husband ever use the services of a call girl. <laughs> what are you kidding? He suck his pecker in everything from high price spreads to gutter cleaners. I gave up keeping score. Ma'am, have you ever heard of anyone by the name of Adam Jones? A kid named Adam used to help my husband out sometimes before he lost his undertaking job, but that was a long time ago. Could this be him? Maybe just grown up a bit? Mm, well, yeah, could be, yeah. Are you sure? Take a good look. Yep. I'll say that's him. Well, thank you for your time, Miss Johnson. Interesting. Well, that didn't go too badly, but I still want to know who's in the street taking photos of us. Oh, my goodness. Meanwhile, at the homicide department... 16 hours... May. Orderly at Las Palmas. In and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Downtown, a mysterious figure approaches. Still 16 hours until Finn's execution. I don't like the look of this dark alley. I'd like to have a little chat. 
That's not how you approach someone down a dark alley. What the freak? This is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. Oh, come on, yeah. Oof. Let's run him down. Listen to that music. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Who's in this car? This car looks suspicious. Seriously? I'm not gonna shoot the guy. Whoa. Back. Back. Drop the piece, man. Drop the piece. Yeah, drop the weapon, man. Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon now! No, no, no. You just stay back. Come on. You're not in trouble. We just want to talk. I only Friendly want to talk. conversation. Please. You're not in any trouble. I just want to talk. Nothing, sister. I'm not stupid. Uh, come on. Drop it now. <laughs> Did he seriously die? Well, that's gonna look good on our record. I mean, either way, getting impatient or, yeah, butterfingers. Hmm, classic. I'm sure that definitely wasn't the way we wanted it to go, but whatever. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I just... Yeah. What happened? Oh, God. I, I, I don't know. The, the whole thing is fucked, man. I mean, he, he just... He went up there and... You were just supposed to ask him some questions. I don't know. Maybe he had a fucking death wish or something. Hey, I don't fucking know. slow down. Look, Tom, this is not my fault. All right. I'm just trying to put the pieces together. He fell. That's it. That's what happened. I need to know how it happened. <laughs> Once again. You think I had a choice? It's not like I pushed him off. Then what? He pulled a gun, Tom. Okay. This is fucked up. It's fucked up. Fine. Yeah. Maybe we should just go grab a coffee. Get a head straight. Yeah, yeah. Coffee. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Clearly, I don't have what it takes to be fantastic. Detective Marnie the F bomb. On my way to see Simon Hillary. At his house? After hours? Yeah. I'm really starting to think there's a connection here with the prostitutes and the trapper killings. Hillary might have some forensic evidence we've overlooked. Go easy on him, alright? He's pretty shook up from the fireworks this morning. It's just a few questions. It's no big deal. Hillary residence. Still storming like crazy. Fifteen hours until execution. Good morning. I think this guy is super suspicious. Yes. Let me know what you think. But I don't know. Something about him is just super creepy, Dexter style. I don't know. I can't believe how close I was to. to... I can't even say it yet. You got lucky. You're telling me. Just another split second, and my God. Well, at least you're alive. Don't dwell on it. You're alive, that's the important thing. Yes. Of course. Creepy. Do you remember Las Palmas? The uh, orphanage, the case from a few years ago. Unspeakable. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing some digging. The father there, Rominski, seems to have a thing for the ladies of the night, which is starting to feel just like the Calvary case. And Walsh, the undertaker. Hooker, same thing, night of his death. That's just too many hookers to be a coincidence. Huh? Unless every single man in this town is a John. Well. I'm working on a new theory. It's just a sketch, but I think you can help me. All right. Was there anything you found that might point to the killer being a woman? Well... 
there was trace evidence, yes, it's, it's possible, certainly. Is that data still available? Of course, uh, the records were archived when Finn confessed. Are you all right? Sorry? It's this morning. I, I'm st still a little shaken up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Something's fishy. Something's very fishy. Like What's happening here? Tidy little puzzle pieces, but the picture on the box makes no sense. Feeling like there's a lot more to this than just Jonathan Finn, you know? I'm not sure I do, Detective. And now, the Calvary murder. Maybe Finn's still a part of it, but. But what if someone else is pulling the strings? I'm suddenly feeling very unsafe again. <laughs> Finn's Adam Jones apparently is <laughs> as well, my friend. Fire. Worked for the Undertaker, Trapper's first Vic. The widow even identified him from a picture. Uh oh, you got some unsteady hands there, buddy. I'm sorry. I am still feeling very foggy after the explosion. Uh oh, you better keep a tail on him. Come on, lady. Let's follow him. Let's follow him. Sorry, just a moment. I'll get that all cleaned up. I'll bet you will. I have a feeling I'm gonna get totally just knocked out with some ether. Come on, buddy. What's your deal? Uh. My apologies. I'm just, I'm still a little scattered. Don't worry about it. I'm scattered. I'm foggy, okay, and I I'm scattered and foggy. Is there anything you want to tell me, my friend? Anything you want to share? All right, I've taken up way too much of your time. It's no bother, really. Oh, I know that you didn't get to finish your evaluation at the crime scene. Is there anything that you may have missed? Well, I, I don't think so, but uh, this was no typical attack. Whoever Calvary was with, he probably knew them. Thank you for your time. Yeah, he probably knew them. Very interesting. Oof. Okay, that was odd. Simon basically freaked out. And that hoodie, was he following me at the orphanage? My gut says that he's mixed up with this somehow. Time to do some digging. I don't know about you, but I would not hop into a dark car without checking it out. I don't know. A lot of weird stuff going on. I would be totally paranoid. Homicide department. With 15 hours until execution. My goodness. Let's see if we can find any information on the computer. Find a yearbook. Well, that's a classy photo right there. Simon Hillary. What? Oh <laughs> what? State Park Cabin? Why is it always so dark? 14 hours. You know, certain elements of this game remind me of Alan Wake. I think it has something to do with, like, the dark forest, the constant pitch black, and the flashlight. Fantastic game if you have not played. 8.23 p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Ooh, Gonna I don't know. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. Not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Oh my goodness, here we go. Right here. Come on. Yeah. 
two out of three clues. Oh. Bloody mess. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Explosion was highly directional. If Simon did know about the bomb, it's possible he could have avoided serious injury. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? I don't feel like we found any useful clues. It seems to be the most clues I can find before the timer runs out is two. Just because it's really kind of awkward to move the cursor around. But, I don't know, hopefully we found something that'll help us. Contacts. Who would you like to call? Domino's! Felicity Graves. Let's Holly order Felicity a pizza. Graves. Hey, Felicity? Hi, Becky, what's up? Can you meet up? I want to go over some evidence. Yeah, of course. Uh, temple bar? Great. I don't want to drink. I want to go over evidence. Whoa. What's happening? I don't know about you, but that definitely looks like a woman. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. What's in the box? What's in the box? And with that, I'm going to end the video. But thank you so much for checking this out and joining me in this crazy story of Hidden Agenda. Kind of a slower story for that section, but interesting nonetheless. That dude was totally a creeper. Just saying. Be sure to tune back for the next episode, and I'll see you then.